everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be breaking down the different types of sexism, which is building upon the work that Sibley, Wilson and Duckett have previously done whilst looking at different types of prejudice. I'll drop a link in the description below should you wish to check out our last video, which outlined their previous work. Sibley, Wilson and Duckett went on to examine how different types of male hostility and benevolent sexism have a role within the dual roles of social dominance orientation and right-wing authoritarianism. It's important to note that there are two types of sexism that are defined here, so there's benevolent sexism and hostile sexism. Research by Mastari, Sprite and Sionges in 2019 has defined hostile and benevolent sexism. So hostile sexism aims to preserve men's dominance over women. It is often very blatant, and is directed towards women in a very resentful way, especially women who violate traditional female roles. This is because the women who do not comply with the traditional roles are perceived as a threat to the men's dominant position. The aim of hostile sexism is to keep women in a subordinate position. And as other research by Bagani and Milburn in 2002 has shown, it can even be a precursor for sexual harassment and violence towards women. An example of hostile sexism and trying to keep individuals who violate traditional gender stereotypes in their traditional role would be teasing a boy who plays with dolls and this would be an expression of hostile sexism. Whereas benevolent sexism is a more subtle form of sexism and is often expressed in a seemingly positive way. It is expressed by emphasising men's role to protect and provide for women by putting them on a pedestal in a very chivalrous way. This protection and love is granted in exchange for women's compliance to traditional gender roles. This form of sexism is instigated through paternal and traditional beliefs that perceive women as beautiful and pure, yet delicate and precious, and therefore in need of protection provided by men. In this seemingly positive character and the insistence on the complementarity of men and women that makes benevolent sexism a socially more accepted form of sexism, Consequently, it is also an inconspicuous mechanism that perpetrates gender inequality. This was studied by Gleek and Fisk in 2001 and Connolly and Hisaka in 2012. It has been shown that benevolent sexism encourages women to prioritise relationships such as family and children over pursuing educational or professional goals. And this was shown by Chen et al. in 2009 and Montana et al. in 2013. And it also undermines women's perceptions of their competencies and performances, as shown by Dardine et al. in 2007. Going back to the research of Sibley, Wilson and Duckett, and their examining of benevolent sexism and hostile sexism, now that we've got the definitions out of the way and have understood them. So benevolent sexism stems from a threat-driven security cohesion motivation, and this is often created by right-wing authoritarianism, whereas hostile sexism stems from a competitively driven motivation for intergroup dominance, and this is often created by social dominance orientation. I hope you found this video useful, and I'll hopefully see you again soon with another one. Thanks, bye!